Hi, you guys. It is Saturday morning. I don't even know what time it is anywhere at this point. I'm in Canada and I am in Calgary uh, for a Access Foundations training. So after Access Bars, which I have um, kind of advertised, I guess, on, um, on the site, which I am doing a Access Bars class at home in Geneva, Illinois, on June 2nd, but after the bars class, there's lots of other access consciousness classes. And so I am here in Canada for access foundations, which is like the, the sort of meat of it all, um, before we get into, you know, other amazing things. So yesterday was my first day of class. Today I am about to leave to walk to day two. It's about a 25 minute walk from the Airbnb I'm staying at and it is really beautiful here. I went for a run this morning and the sun is shining and it's just really pretty. Um, so more of that to come, but I only have a minute, but I want to come on here just for a second and talk about something that came up yesterday that I was like, oh my God, that's gold. That's something that we are all doing that I've spent my whole life doing. And that idea is working towards an end. And I talked about this a long time ago and I just, I don't think it ever like clicked until yesterday totally. I don't know. Um, you know, you hear something once, you hear something twice, you hear something three times. And somehow it takes a minute to like get through to you. So I always talked about like we, when you're in school, you know, as a kid, you get through school to an end, right? All I want is to get through the end of the school year. I just want it to be summer. And you spend your whole school year counting down the days until summer or until Christmas break or until whatever the next thing is. And then you're not a kid anymore and you know you finally are like okay graduation from high school and then you go to college and there's all this okay how many years until i can graduate college till summer till the next break and you do that and every day is literally spent watching the clock till the end of the day the end of the thing and the end of this phase right so for me i got through all that and i was like well then grad school that's the next thing so five years of grad school. So then it was okay, like get through this. And even in grad school, I don't, we didn't really have summers. Like we kind of did, but like we, it was required to take summer courses at least for like half the summer. So always just get into the semester and it was always looking for the light at the end of the tunnel and you're almost there and keep pushing ahead, keep pushing ahead so that you can get to the end, right? And I remember that moment when I got to the end of graduate school and I was like, now what? But then there was a now what? There was a, okay, now I'm gonna get married. And you count down to the wedding and you plan for the wedding and then that's the end, right? That's the end of every um, princess, Disney, whatever story is you get married and live happily ever after and that's the end, even though we all know that's not true, right? And, and then I was like, okay, well now we'll have children. And then after that, uh, and even through that, I hated being pregnant. Like, uh, sorry, I know some people love being pregnant. It wasn't me. And I just wanted to get to the end of that to, you know, there was the baby at the end. So that was, you know, the exciting thing. But then I had my kids and I was like, no, I don't want more children. I'm good with, you know, the ones I got. <laughs> I was like, what is this? What do we do now? Because you spend your whole life getting to the end. And I think I went through like kind of a depression at that point because I didn't know what to do because it, it's how we've been conditioned to get to the end, to the next thing, to the next thing, to the next thing. So that you means to an end, right? Light at the end of the tunnel. You're almost there. You're running a race. You're trying to cross the finish line. And I was like, oh, we live our whole life trying to get through life to the end. Guys, the end is death right? <laughs> so why, why, why are we doing this? Why do we do this to ourselves to push through the next thing into the next thing into the next thing? And we just have to get through it. And we watch the hours of the clock go by to get to the end of the day, the end of the week, to the weekend, to the end of the month, the end of the project we're working on. We were talking about this yesterday in business that, um, you know, all of us in the foundations class have our own businesses and, you know, talking about getting projects finished, getting, you know, the next course done, whatever it is. And to, we're so focused on getting to the end. And I'm wondering for you, is it that in some way, shape or form too, are you still trying to get to the end? And what is that? And I, the person who's facilitating my class is her name is Crystal Crawford. Look her up. She's amazing. Um, and she said, you know, what if we just started living? 
like what if this wasn't about getting to the end anymore and what if it was just about every day and the adventures of living and it not having to be about what's next and what's the next end and what's the next end and we're always working to the end what if we got to just be in all of our creativity and enjoy everything that we're doing rather than working to the end and not just say we don't want to get projects done or finish this or fine but it should never be like oh well that's done now I can sit back because I don't think that's what we're meant to do and not that we're meant to be busy bees I mean that's my other issue right I mean we could <laughs> that's another live but to find that balance and figure out what what can we do today to live our life today and to enjoy creating and to get excited about the thing that you're working on right now and not to watch the clock, not to rush to get it done, not to see it all as means to an end, but to enjoy our life, our, our being, our time with our friends, our laughter, all the things that make life worth living. So this foundations class I'm taking, I mean, yesterday was day one, right? So I'm gonna go here in a second um, to get to day two. It's a four day class. But so there's a manual. So all, for all this stuff, there's a manual that you go through. But it's so interesting to me and something that's been such a, a fun, different way of thinking for me is that Crystal is like, we're not going through this in order. Look through it. What's interesting to you? Where do you wanna start? And I'm like, oh my God, what if I could live my life that way? Because how many of you, like me, have spent your whole life, you start at the beginning of the book, and then you go through chapter one, and chapter two, and chapter three, and you go in order in such a linear way. And we've been taught that. That's what school did to us, is we've, it's taught us to live in such a linear pattern. But the creatives of the world, the people making change, the people loving their life, aren't living that way. They're saying, pick a page. Start there, start what interests you, start with what's fun for you, start with what sparks conversation and watch that transform you. So that's what this class so far has been for me. I'm sure I'll have more updates, but I just wanted to jump on here today, this morning. And as you go into your weekend, as you go into your life, Start looking around and going, am I just trying to like get through the day? Am I trying to get through the week? Am I trying to get to the end? And how can I throw that whole concept out the window? And how can I just start being and living now? So that's all I got for you guys. I will surely jump on here again before the weekend is out. But have a wonderful, beautiful weekend. I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.